Now you'll notice in this cube, the two valid code words are separated by three edges. And you can't tell from this picture, but it turns out that in this seven dimensional cube, all the valid code words are also separated by three edges. And the fact that the code words are all separated by three edges is related to the next topic, which is a code's minimum distance. A code's minimum distance D is what determines its error correcting capabilities. So before we give a definition for that, I'm going to introduce the Hamming weight of a code word. The Hamming weight is just a count of how many non-zero digits are in a given code word. For the binary codes we're dealing with, this is the same as just counting the number of ones. So the Hamming weight of this code word is two, the weight of this code word is three, and the weight of this code word is one. Next, I'll define the Hamming distance function which takes two code words and counts the number of digits where the code words are different. Here, all three digits are different, so the Hamming distance is three. And this tells us that there are three edges that separate these two code words if we're thinking geometrically. So with these two code words, all the digits are the same except the last one, so the Hamming distance is one. And here there are two digits that are different, so the Hamming distance is two. Now, I'm hoping that it's obvious that the distance between a code word C and the code word of all zeros is just equal to the Hamming weight of that code word, because counting the ones in the code word is the same thing as counting the number of digits which differ from zero. Finally, we'll define the minimum distance D of a code, which is the smallest Hamming distance between any pair of valid code words. So let's take a look at the example of the two of three repetition code. This is the generator matrix, which maps these message bits to these code words. And there are only two valid code words, so finding the minimum distance is easy. It's just the distance between 000 and 111, which is three. So for this code, the minimum distance is three. Let's take a look at another code created by this generator matrix. So you can check that this matrix sends these two bit messages to these four bit code words. And geometrically in four dimensions, the code looks like this. And if you look carefully at this image, you'll see that the smallest distance between any pair of valid code words is always two. So we have one, two, one, two, one, two, we can't find any valid code words that are right next to each other with a distance of one. So the minimum distance in this case is just two. Now with this other generator matrix, which maps these two bit messages to these different four bit code words, we see that in some cases the distance is three, but in other cases the distance is just one. So the minimum distance is the smallest distance between any two valid code words. So here the minimum distance is one. So why do we care about the minimum distance? Well, the minimum distance of a code tells us how many error bits we are guaranteed to be able to fix. If the distance between valid code words is one, then we can't detect or correct any errors because an error will move us from one valid code word to another valid code word, and we can't tell a mistake has happened. If the distance is two, then a one bit error will bring us to this invalid code word. So we can detect that a one bit error has happened, but we can't actually correct it because the error could have taken us away from C1 or away from C2, and there's no way to tell where we started from. So we can detect the error, but we can't fix it. For minimum distance three, we can detect up to two error bits without correction. And if we're trying to correct errors, we can actually correct one bit error. Since we know a one bit error here means we came from C1 and a one bit error here means we came from C2. For distance four, we can detect up to three bit errors, but we can still only correct one bit. If two bit errors happen, since this is halfway between C1 and C2, we can't do any corrections because again, we can't tell where it came from. With distance five, we can detect four bit errors and correct two bit errors. And distance six, we can detect five bit errors and correct two bit errors. 
In general, with a distance d between code words, we are guaranteed to be able to detect up to d minus 1 bit errors and correct up to d minus 1 over 2 errors, rounding down if we get a fraction. So for example, in the best 3 out of 5 repetition code, where we just repeat the message bit 5 times, since the minimum distance is 5, we can correct up to 2 bit errors. And that makes sense since with this code we take a best 3 out of 5 majority vote to fix the errors, so up to 2 bit errors can happen. And with the best 4 out of 7 repetition code, the minimum distance is 7, so we can correct up to 3 bit errors. So while these repetition codes can help us fix multiple errors, the downside is that they are very inefficient when it comes to the transmission rate, because we have to repeat the message several times. So in general, repetition codes aren't very useful. Now in the case of the Hamming 74 code, there are enough code words that comparing all possible pairs is very tedious. Thankfully, it turns out there's a better way to determine what the minimum distance is. Recall that for a linear code, we have a generator matrix. Now, when we deal with messages, notice that the sum of any two messages is another message. And if we put these messages through the generator matrix, we'll get two valid code words. And we'll find that the sum of any two valid code words is another valid code word. So with linear codes, if we add any two valid code words together, we're going to get another valid code word. So if we're looking for the minimum distance over all valid code word pairs, we can take this function here and subtract the code word C1 from both inputs. This won't change the end resulting distance that we get, since by subtracting a code word, we're basically just sliding valid code words over in space without changing the distance between them. So the minimum distance is really equal to the smallest distance between 0 and this. But recall for linear codes, the addition or subtraction of valid code words is just another valid code word. So really, this is just equal to the minimum distance from 0 to any valid non-zero code word. So the minimum distance is just equal to the smallest non-zero Hamming weight over all valid code words in the code. In the case of the Hamming 74 code, you'll find that the smallest non-zero code words have a weight of 3. And with a minimum distance of 3, we are guaranteed to be able to correct one error bit per code word. So that's why the Hamming 74 code can fix one error bit per code word.